You've recently set up an Asian Women's Support Group in Manchester with the help of a grant from Genesis. Can you tell us what motivated you to do that? Well, uh, Kat, uh, the motivation for setting up the group was that uh, we have a low uh, uptake of breastfeeding in Asian women, as well as low breast cancer awareness in Asian women. And for the last several years, I've been undertaking some research projects which have demonstrated, uh, again, much more evidence for these things. So the aim of my setting up the group was so that we can work uh, together with Asian patients and carers to resolve some of these deeply entrenched issues because um, the feeler I was getting that these are some of the issues you know, which are, you know, people have tried to resolve them previously but uh, haven't made much progress here. So I'm hoping that with the help of uh, this Asian Breast Cancer Support Group, we'll be able to uh, resolve some of the issues, uh, you know, deep, deep issues in relation to Asian breast cancer as a, as a cause itself. You, know. you have some cross-cultural communication skills workshops that you set up. Can you tell us how those work? Yes, uh, what, what came out, uh, we, uh, under the umbrella of Genesis, we held a workshop, a conference here in 2010. And uh, we had, uh, uh, you know, a lot of public uh, health uh, patient carers and health professionals participation in that. And what came out was that there are clearly communication issues here. Not only the Asian patients have some specific needs uh, of themselves, there are some issues in relation to health professionals, how they communicate with them and how they look after uh, the, the communication and information sharing. So that led to uh, setting up of uh, these uh, cross-cultural communication skills training uh, workshop. We interviewed uh, with the help of Dr. Kiris Gillespie, my colleague who is a consultant psychologist. Uh, we interviewed a member of staff here, uh, uh, you know, some scoping interviews in the beginning uh, and then prepared uh, uh, our workshop. We ran it last year, last November, we ran for facilitators like Lester, myself and several others uh, colleagues and uh, we had the first uh, workshop for trainees uh, uh, two weeks back which was really very successful. And finally, what sort of things do you think could be done to increase breast awareness within the Asian community? I mean, see, it's the most important thing I feel is that uh, we need to uh, improve the way we share information with them look at the leaflets, look at the various ways of information. And I think uh, what we are finding is language is just, just tip of the iceberg. There are clearly, uh, you know, cultural issues, how uh, you involve them, you know, and one has to take a multi-pronged approach that is not only just confined to one strategy. You know. So, uh, okay, we have to uh, uh, do all what we can do in the community, but uh, when the patient is at our doorstep, whether in the screening van or whether, uh, uh, you know, downstairs in the clinic, we need to uh, give more time to these patients and try to, uh, you know, if we see home them in, you know, when they're with us and use that opportunity to improve their experience, improve their understanding of breast screening as well as breast cancer so that they then take home the message and spread it in their community. All right, thank you for coming to talk to us today. Thank you. Thank you.